Hi, Candace. How are you? Hi. Hi, Dr. Gilbert. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. You're back. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I'm back. Good to talk to you again. <laughs> so what are some of the areas we need to address in our skincare routine as fall approaches? Well, just as nature changes in the transition from summer to fall, we want to be making changes in our skin and beauty routines. And there are three things that I like people to think about. You want to cleanse, you want to hydrate, and you want to rejuvenate. Now first cleansing, as the temperature changes, your skin is also going to undergo some shifts. And this is usually because that there's a little bit of a change in humidity and also the elements we're exposed to are a little bit harsher sometimes. For people that have acne prone skin, I like to recommend Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control 3-in-1 Foaming Wash. And this contains an oil dissolving technology as well as 2% salicylic acid which is going to thoroughly cleanse your skin and control future breakouts and it's also gentle enough to use every day. Now for people that are more normal or sensitive, I like to recommend something that is hypoallergenic that contains no detergents, no dyes, and no preservatives. And for this I like the Neutrogena Original Formula Facial Bar. And it's been a skincare staple because it's so pure and mild and it's actually celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. And is there a proper way to cleanse your face? I mean, there are Clarisonics. I mean, there's so many different things you can use or just, you know, washing with a washcloth. I mean, what's best? I generally don't like washing with a washcloth because you can really cause a little bit too much irritation by doing that. The Clarisonic, I think, is something that can be fine if your skin isn't too sensitive. I think that that's okay. What I tend to prefer is actually just using your fingers and gently washing your face with whatever pr product you choose that's appropriate for your skin type. And what are the areas we need to concentrate on for our skin? Well, the next two pieces that I want to talk about are hydrating and rejuvenating. The fall is a really busy time, so we don't want to do things that are too complicated. We want to keep it simple. So I like products that do double duty. And for this, I like the Aveeno Positively Radiant CC Cream with SPF 30. It's a multitasking CC cream, and it uses the power of soy, which is going to brighten your skin, and it's also going to protect and instantly enhance the natural radiance of your skin. Recent studies have shown that actually low levels of UV exposure over a longer period of time do cause significant damage, so you want to be wearing your sunscreen every day. Now finally, rejuvenation. You want to reverse the signs of early aging as soon as you can. Now we know the summer sun is going to be exposing us to some UV rays that sometimes can cause dark spots as well as some fine lines and wrinkles. Retinol is actually one of the best studied anti-aging ingredients and I like the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Serum. It contains pure retinol and an essential mineral complex and it's actually been clinically shown to reduce fine lines and wrinkles after just about 12 weeks. And do you have any additional tips or information like to share with us? I do. I really recommend that everybody gets a full body skin check about once a year from their dermatologist. You want to keep an eye out for any spots on your body that are changing in shape or in size. And you also want to make sure the members of your family do the same thing. And where can we go for more information? You can go to the American Academy of Dermatology's website, which is www.aad.org. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Gilbert. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.